Hello viewers, <clears throat> welcome to my YouTube channel Curiosity Box. and this video is a sort of a sketchbook tour and a roundup of One Book July. So this is my sketchbook. I've never been, I've never really been one to keep sketchbooks. I've always been more of the person who thinks of a picture because I have a like, sort of little art gallery in my head and when I get a spark for a new picture it appears in my head completed so it's always me focusing on figuring out how to complete the picture that appeared in my head so I don't really keep sketchbooks but I have done three, Project 365 uh, I did that in 2012 but each and that was like an artwork a day and each piece was just done on a piece of paper and then like scanned in and put on my blog and that was um that was sort of how I learned that I how to do draw people better just by do practicing and doing something every day so I'm back with the project 365 style drawing um, but this is based around this planet which is an 18 month planet which started on the month of July so this is July 2016 to December 2017 and I, I am hoping to um, be able to actually keep up with it this time now um, so this is the sketchbook that I'm using And it says it's a happy planet. It's the large size happy planet. And um, yes, I am doing the handheld camera thing with my webcam because I still haven't discovered a tall enough tripod that you can attach a webcam to because I prefer my webcam rather than a separate camera because I'm I get a bit annoyed with technology. I do fig faff about and figure it out eventually, but I prefer my webcam because it's easier. So the first page says, hello, this happy planner belongs to you. And so I wrote Curiosity Rocks because I prefer um, going by Curiosity Rocks rather than Helen. Because like, when you get established on the internet and you have an internet name, you like, and then the internet starts saying, you've got to use your real name now. It's like, but nobody really knows me as Helen. They know me as Curiosity Rocks. So that's why I use, that's why I think people use, because uh, somebody else said this on the video and I think it's very true. That's why people use handles because that's their internet presence. Uh, Quicken said this on her video. But anyway, so Curiosity Rocks and I'd, um, because it was one big July, I had a pack of pencils that were like one colour on one end and one colour on the other end. So I used that. So it's pink and orange, which is my favourite combination. So this is the Happy Planet. And basically... So... <clears throat> we get to the monthly spread. And for my monthly spread, I've... Um, I wasn't sure what I was going to do until the first when the ozone layer's hole shrank and I thought, I know, I can draw each day in the monthly spread with a good news item because there's so much crap stuff going on I thought I'd pick out something good and then hopefully it'll have the it make me happy and then if I show people all the good things that are happening, it'll make people less cynical and more able to find the good in things. So that's what I decided for my monthly spread. And also it says happy pill because it's my sertraline pill, the antidepressant. And I'm finding writing happy pill in this planet me, helps me to remember that I've taken the pill. Um, because I used to 
soon out a lot when I take it so but this gives me a visual reference to flip back to in my brain to think yes I, I have done the important antidepressant thing so the first day is the ozone layer's hole has shrunk. Great news at BBC. Then Saturday was lots of people like Jeremy Corbyn. Then the third, people had a nice day at the Stratford River Festival. The fourth, Andy Murray was really good at Wimbledon. On the fifth, Juno. Um, the satellite went to see Jupiter and and she got there okay so yay and then the sixth was all about those mystery tourists that turned up in Kedlington Oxfordshire and they were just really appreciating all the gardens and nobody knew why and then the seventh was about a giant panda baby boy and he's trying to crawl and I thought it's cute and then the 8th was when the new crew went up to the ISS space station. And my cat might be then putting a few words in this video. So, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah I know. Hello, yeah. Do you want to say hello to everybody? Really? Uh-huh, yeah. So that's my picture of the little, the, the, not the little, the vehicle they went up to the space station in. Yeah, I know. And then the night is the actual space station and they got there okay. Do you want to say hello, Jack? Hello. That's Jack saying hello, everybody. Say hello. Hello. So, <clears throat> sorry about my fruit. It's so the tenth is lots of British winners at Wimbledon. Eleven is this guy Anton Griezmann who got the um, award for Player of the Euro Football Tournament. <clears throat> ah, silly! Oh my goodness, my throat. <clears> throat> Twelve was about Pokemon Go and I drew Pikachu. 13 is there's um, somebody invented um, this little attachment for a drone that could deliver ice cream. 14 is uh, Nintendo uh, releasing the Nintendo Entertainment System in a really cute mini size. 15 was the fact that they've attached cameras to sheep oh. Oh, and yes, Jet. Yes, but you can't stand on the table because I can't see what I'm filming now, can I? So, yeah, they attached. Oh, hang on. My my cat's arse is in the way. They attached. Yes, your arse. No, no, don't rub on the camera because just arse off the table so I can see what I'm filming. Thank you. So they attach cam uh, cameras to sheep at the Faroe Islands so they could map the Faroe Islands. Number 16 is somebody um, did a display jet with jet. You can talk, you can input your information but don't get in my way. So somebody made Boris Johnson out of vegetables the Lambeth County Show. Number 17, it was World Emoji Day, so I drew an emoji. 18 was another heat wave, so I drew a lollipop. The 19th, there was an interview with Matt Smith, and one of his life advice tips was wear bright socks, so I thought that was really cute. Then on the 20th, they made a breakthrough on mapping the brain and found there's a hundred. 180 regions of the brain. <laughs> what are you looking at my face for, Jack? Really? Okay, let's film Jack for a bit. You are... Why are you shy when you go actually on camera? You're like... Anyway. 
if the 21st is um, a really shit drawing of Grumpy Cat. I could have done better there, but I was tired. And then the 22nd, um, this guy had um, both his hands, he got two new hands in the first double hand transplant. And what he said when he got his new hands was he felt whole again, so I put that. And then San Diego Comic Con on the 23rd. And then Robot Wars is back. And I'm actually missing it now to film this video, ironically. But it is really cool. And then the 25th, they put in a massive sculpture of Rebecca Adlington in the Serpentine River in London. And then that picture is a picture of Palmerston the cat from the foreign office. He lives across from number 10 and he sneaked into number 10 to see Larry, the cat who lives at number 10. But he, Palmerston got chucked out. So it's a picture of Palmerston trying to ring up Larry to get, so hoping Larry answers the phone at number 10 so he doesn't have to keep sneaking in. And then on the 27th, two acrobats got uh, married on the tightrope. On the 28th, the Wimbledon Guild had a summer beach picnic and they had trifle. On the 29th, it was International Tiger Day. On the 30th, it was Liverpool Pride. And on the 31st, as well as being my birthday, it was Stockport Rail Show, so I did the letters and railway track. See, that's what I'm doing each month, is finding a good news item. So this Happy Planner, it's got a few days at the end of June, and then it starts here in July. So I have three things to draw um, for each day, and I do have to do a little bit of catch-up for August, because sometimes I do catch-up on my planner, and then I have to take the next day it's working on the comic and then I have to do another double catch up and sometimes I'm just tired so I have to uh, save it to catch up with. So Friday the 1st of July I won FK Vlogs' Secret Life of Pets competition and she's an awesome YouTuber and uh, she had a competition and you had to uh, send in a picture of your cat of your pet doing something funny so I sent in a picture of my cat being hoovered which he really likes so I won the prize well I won one of the prizes and then it was the Euros and I am obsessed with Gareth Bale and I tried drawing Gareth Bale this is like practicing my miniatures drawing kind of Thing, but and also because I have ADHD, so it's a lot easier just doing little pictures um, than working on a massive one. If I was going to do something every day, because there are some gorgeous daily art people that are out doing their daily art projects, and they've got really gorgeous, really well finished pictures. And I have ADHD and get tired really easily as well, so it's really hard to do to do a complete picture every day so this is um still I can still do my art but this is a lot easier for me to cope with. So this Garth Beal at Wheels because I love Garth Beal and this is something one of my best people mates said. He said, Oh he's that Obi Wan Corbin Amy so I did drew him and it says be kind in his lightsaber and my cat's arse is in the way, so sorry if there's any bumpiness with the camera. Then, Saturday 2nd July, I found this account on Twitter, and it, it's Forest Friends, and he takes pictures of the Sylvanian families in various situations. Um, I think they're the official like, publicity pictures, and he puts very adult, very naughty captions on them and they're hilarious and I love it. Oh, the person who makes those. And then we have Sam Hewin, who's Team Twix and Tim Downey and they were discussing chocolate bars 
and Tim Downey likes a double decker and Sam Hewen likes Twix and I am getting a crush on Tim Downey and that's going to be my next um, one of my next bigger pieces of artwork and don't walk on my art yet you have monkey paws so sorry let me show you those again before Jack walked on them so that there's Tim Downey and then Iceland I really liked Iceland's thunderclap and that's what the Sunday the third was when they went out the tournament so I did that pitch in tribute and then we've got cat spreading um, Tom Cox is awesome and he has lo tells loads of stories about his cats and he's brilliant so I did that one cat spreading and boat smug cat and that's um, Ralph I think I've forgotten I've forgotten what this one's called is he George, or is that his gay boyfriend? But this one's got a gay boyfriend, an uh, all white cat, and they love each other, and she's really cute. So, on to the next page. So, yeah, um, the notes page is just, um, hang on, let me bring this over a bit. Let me do some adjustments. So, here we have uh, Chandler and Joey. I drew I sketched this from a GIF, a moving GIF, so that was a bit tricky, but it's like, it's cute. And this is an article by that person and talking about Lego. And then somebody drew a, a puppy in a blanket fort, so I did my own version of a puppy in a blanket fort. First, Tuesday the 5th of July, David Tennant got an honorary 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 degree see that is cool and then um also on the fifth so there's three artworks per day so there's gary sparrow they bring um they're doing a new episode of good night sweetheart so that's um meant to be nicholas lindhurst as a sparrow to say gary sparrow and then that's it there's the person who on YouTube who really needs needs to have a really nice home and hopefully he's getting one soon but I'm trying not to gender people because that's a big thing now isn't it that person is hopefully getting having a nice home so I drew a nice uh, a cute little house like you draw when you're a kid and a lawn with flowers on and then Wales, um, sadly, they went out of the tournament, but they were an amazing team, so I did another little tribute of for Gareth Bale. And then it was it, on the 6th, for Wednesday the 6th, International Kissing Day. And then Paul Dart, they're filming season 3 this autumn, and season 2 is going to be on the telly this autumn, and I'm really excited. So I just put a bit of paper in between each page as I did the other side of the pages to catch the excess pencil so it it works quite well this paper with coloured pencil it works with coloured pencil better than pen because pen leaks through the other side a bit so coloured pencil's better it's not my favourite texture paper but it does work really well for coloured pencil so that's what I've been doing and I need to learn because uh, <clears throat> I'm also trying to learn to colour in and colour pencil better. So Thursday the seventh was hotel. It was sorry, World Chocolate Day. So there's some chocolates um, that Hotel Chocolate tweeted about. And then we have a portrait of Aidan Turner at um, Wimbledon, and somebody said that capes are cool, and indeed they are. Then Friday the eighth, uh, there was there's a Jeff, and it's amazing, and it's about the Queen when she was at the the big gala for her birthday, and the cows came on, and she did a double take and said, cows, and the, I just had to do a drawing, and then um, this person said if you tweet sausage you'll find out who your friends are and so I just drew a sausage and then it was cow appreciation day so I drew a cow Saturday 9th of July 
this this person is excellent at mashing up stuff and make and do photoshops and making like adverts and stuff and they're really funny so and one of them was a sapphire and steel um, lollipop advert so I drew the lollipop and coloured it in and then Planet Epics has really good um, pictures of cute animals and pretty animals and funny animals so this is a fowl um, ha um, hiding under his mum's tail and it looks like he's got a really long funny haircut and then there's Tom Cox and he wears a real cool cape and he was going to Aldi in it. Uh, Sunday the 10th I discovered that at the Louvre Museum you can get the D a, a DS game and it's a guide to the Louvre so that's cool. And then there's the moth, like at the Euro final there was a moth that landed on Ronaldo when Ronaldo got injured and so I drew a moth and it says, I kissed him, I kissed Ronaldo, I'm never washing my face again. I was really excited, Muff. And then, so they had this real cool um, stem bracelet, which is a zip. Next page. So, Monday the 11th of July, Lego announced they're bringing out the Disney Castle and Lego. I am so buying it. I've actually been doing some tactical Lego buying so I can get a decent discount on the Disney Castle. So, I'm excited to order that because it looks gorgeous and it sort of gives me a magical feeling because when I went to your Disney when I was about 11, the, the Disney Castle, it just gives there's that certain magical feelings I get in my body and it's totally giving me the magical feelings I can't wait to get that set and then Monday 11th of July was when they caught the microphones caught David Cameron singing the little ditty and I thought that was cute and there was also lots of discussion about whether Larry the cat who lives at number 10 Downing Street was going to stay at number 10 Downing Street and it turns out that he could stay so I drew a picture of Larry so Tuesday the 12th there was this really cool art installation and it's two ladies dressed up in um, old timey wimey clothes and they had to sit in a very boat on the the water at the Barbican Centre and kiss for the whole time and I thought that was really cool. And then Planet Epics another one and there's a doggy with cute markings. And then, inspired by Techna Cleavon, who's another uh, person who's really funny, I did a pigeon in the rain. Sorry, my hand's shaky a bit. So, Wednesday 13th of July, um, the Queen went to see the lifeboat. I think they're la Are they la No. The helicopter rescue people and her... And Prince William is one of them, so she was really proud of him. As a picture of her, really proud of him, so I drew that. And then this is Tim Peake, and he came home to the um, to the airport, and there was a massive picture of him, and he was a bit weirded out, a freaked out, but he's like so happy, and I love Tim Peake, he's awesome. And then um um. This person was, uh, Teddy did a really cute smile face, so I did uh, a smile face in return. Um, here's the 40th, inspired by Big Green Books, who said he'd spread the morning with tape round the top of his head. So 32 books and a cat pissed at the window, so I did all that in a drawing. Then the Late Late Show um, got some Emmy nominations and I tried to draw James Corden I've, but I didn't quite get the eyes right so I tried to fix it. But I'm learning to um, do more portraits without doing my outline but I still like doing my outline because that's just a different style. But this is learning about shading and doing portraits without outlining stuff and then somebody said something about sharing chocolate when you're a writer so I drew some chocolate 
So Friday the 15th of July there was a new publicity photo and it was Sherlock and he's got a dog and I'm excited to see the dog in this new Sherlock series. So I drew um, a sort of cameo portraits of Sherlock and the dog. And then there was a gif of a cat covered in little chicks and it was so cute. And then there's this um, organisation called the Kindness Offensive and they built a TARDIS outside uh, somewhere and they're really cool. Saturday the 16th uh, somebody put up a photo of their doggy and this is it, apparently is what the action is called when their doggy lies down like this it's called sploot and what I didn't realise was that the blue cuddly toy next to the doggy is one of the really cool Shiba Inu plush things and I'm really excited about those and then the picture books blogger they um, had a tweet about a picture book that was sun had a sunset on it so I did my own sunset and then I do um, Benedict Cumberbatch as Doctor Strange Sunday the 17th NASA discovered the hexagon on top of the North Pole of Saturn and it's really cool and if you focus into the middle of it it reminds me of the vortex in Doctor Who so I did an interpretation of that and then um, oh yeah this was a funny tweet and somebody tweeted a picture of Bruce Willis and said um, this will make you feel old. This is the baby from Look Who's Dark, you know. <laughs> that was hilarious. So I drew Bruce Willis. And it looks kind of more like my uncle than Bruce Willis, but I had a go. So, and then um, there was uh, some old pictures of Tom Baker as signing and he had jelly babies. So I drew a jelly baby. Monday the 18th, somebody was giving one of my best public friends going on about Pingu so I drew Sassy Pingu and then Lindsay she did some really nice cute rainbow artwork so I did the artwork rainbow in tribute and then Disney tweeted something that um, somebody told Zootopia with emojis so I drew that then Robert Webb on Tuesday the 19th tweeted that he was naked under umbrella writing a book so I did that one and then somebody, one of the political people said there should be a bank of the north and somebody said it was like Game of Thrones so I decided to do that picture and then somebody um, drew their pic version of flamingos and that was cute so I do my version of a flamingo and then there was somebody tweeted pictures of these um, really good pictures of photos of snails so I drew some snails and then somebody said you don't see people rolling down hills much anymore I wonder if it's because all the technology in the back pocket so I drew some people rolling down a hill and he's rolled down the hill and it is totally worth it even though he smashed his eye through and then this is a, a zoom in on a picture that somebody posted of a basilisk lizard Then 21st Thursday and it was at SDCC and there was um, Kid Robot had a 20, was it, was it 20, yeah 20 inch or 20 centimetre, well it was a big, um, one of these dunny bunny things and it was the um, bright colour camouflage and a hole one and I really liked it so I drew it. And then Sunday's bunny was really hot and it looked like it was melting so I drew his face. And then there was a SDCC, there was a, a, a room, there was a cat room like, made by Marvel and they had cats. And then 20, Friday 22nd and somebody made a sunset with Lego and it looked really pretty so I attempted to draw it. And then pulled out flowers, they have um, gorgeous flower arrangements. So I picked out one flower to draw. And then somebody mentioned about how this character on Bojack Horseman 
um, whenever he tries to get a cake or a sign or anything customised, they always do it wrong. And I thought that was really funny and it reminded me of cake cracks. And then this person was going on about how we, how it's not Michael Bublé, how it's Michael Bubbles. And I said, yeah, I call him Mickey Bubbles, so this Mickey Bubbles. And then there was um, a tweet about um, how books make you feel when you like get really empathetic about people and books. And then there's a bit, or oh, was this when it was Daniel... Daniel Radcliffe's birthday. Yeah, I think it was. So there's a picture of Daniel Radcliffe. And then Sunday the 24th, um, Hacker the dog was reacting to something, but I've forgotten what it was. So I drew him. And then Aidan Turner won the drama champion category. So I was excited about that. And somebody put a gif of fireworks up. And then technically Ron joked that um, here's my robot for Robot Wars and he said, oh, it's just a Roomba on fire. <laughs> and said, like, yeah. So I drew a Roomba and um, blinged it up in different colours and stuff. Monday the 25th. Dog Rates is um, an awesome... Um, Twitter and they rate dogs and they've always got pictures of cute dogs and they're awesome. So this is a dog that goes up and down the train carriage to get um, snuggles and pats from everybody. And then this is a dog and what I really love about dog rates and they always call all the dogs puppies. I think that's so adorable calling a dog a puppy. So cute. And this is a dog that's um, smiling at the camera but he doesn't know there's a double rainbow behind him and then this is a photoshop somebody did and they did Matt Lucas on the, one of the promotional pictures for Doctor Who and that's his face on Clara's body so I drew that I thought it was cool and then there's a gift shop in, in Fowey Cornwall and they're showing what new stuff they got in the gift shop window and they had this boat in the window so I drew it and then Odia tweeted about a panda having a nice lolly and uh, that was really cute. And then um, QI Crocopedia said that there's a certain um, type of bird that it tweets um, a password to the baby as well as still in the egg and that if the, ba if the baby birds when they hatch give out the password then they get food. So I wrote, uh, the egg's cracking, but the baby birds buggy. I forgot the password. It's like, oh, no. And then tw Wednesday 27th, there's a campaign to get a, um, Ada Lovelace Lego set. So I drew that um, with, from, because they, somebody made a Ada Lovelace Lego person. And then there's a picture of, a bear um, in somebody's like paddling pool so I, I did that and then the, the somebody put up a picture and they'd seen a fox in the garden so I did a bit of the fox Thursday the 28th there was a picture of that um, these paper craft masks that you could get. I, I, I was actually an elephant in the school play and I had to make an elephant mask but and I thought it was pretty cool but these are masks that are proper professionally done masks of elephants so I attempted to draw it and I put a wooga because I just felt like an elephant noise. And then I drew a corgi, because somebody else does corgis really cute. I think that's the person who, who um, has the cuddly toys for sale, and they're awesome. And then somebody got a, um, the Doctor Strange Lego set, so I did a bit of the typography detail, and a bit of the detail of the set. Then Friday the 29th, 
is all pole dark stuff. So this is meant to be Aiden Turner. And then we've got High David. And then we've got um oh my god Sophie Tomlinson. Sophie is that right? Oh Demalza. Sorry, I can't I'm rubbish with names. Is it Sophie? I think it is. Tomlinson. Ah so Demalza, so yeah, I did those. Uh, Saturday the 30th there was a picture of Sylvester McCoy juggling um, learning to juggle so I drew some juggling balls and the question marks off his outfit Doodle Cats I put up a picture of her cat hiding in the tunnel that this like crinkly tunnel she bought for the cat and it's hiding and it's cute uh, this person had a shirt um, was modelling a shirt and it had a bit where there's a mug and it's pointing at a coffee stain and it says I was there and it's like so I sort of did an interpretation of that then this one I'm really proud of I drew Harry Potter and it was sort of going to be the actor who plays Harry Potter in the play but I quite like this I'm just really pleased with that I like it so it was my birthday and Harry Potter's birthday. So that was cool. And then this is some um a pole dark flowers. Um they tweet so I picked out some details from that photo and then Sunday was somebody who found lots of um is that called Kirby? Lots of Kirby's were in the area on their Pokemon Go. So that is my sketchbook for July 2016 and is also the result of my one book July. I am mostly doing lots for August but I'll show you that and that'll be filmed in September obviously when I've completed the August pictures. So that's my sketchbook that I'm doing and this is shared on Twitter as soon as I've drawn it so um, if you want to keep up with my sketchbook as I'm doing it you can follow me on Twitter at CuriosityX so I also have another picture what I did um, yesterday so I'm going to throw that in at the end because it's like I didn't really take any in progress photos enough for do a lot of little videos so here's a bonus Bradley Wiggins for you and the explanation behind my Bradley Wiggins picture is that when he did his funny face I like I automatically have Google image search constantly running in my head and when some things happen they match it matches a picture with another picture and like mashups happen in my head sometimes so that's what I decided to do for the picture was actually show the mashup of what happened in my head so yeah so tonight's art pursuit will be carrying on updating my happy planner sketchbook have you said all you want to say Jet for this video? Yes, I think Jet signed off now. So I really hope you've enjoyed this video and thank you for watching. Yay.